Well, here we have what will be the new motor plate. Uh, but at the moment, these are what came off the original lathe, uh, where the motor mounting is. And we need to know the size to make these outside holes. Um, so we have these hole gauges. This one's a metric one. It goes up in half mil stages, which is quite useful. It's pretty accurate, actually. I'm quite surprised. Um, but, anyways, these, from what I've found, uh, oops, I've got, nearly got that stuck. It's actually a 12 mil bolt. So, clearly metric. Uh, it's not half inch, because that would uh, wobble. Best not to measure it on the threads, because uh, you're never going to, you know, you can wobble about. Best to put it on the um, straight shank part there. And, you know, you can tell that's next to no play whatsoever. So, that's a 12mm. So, we've got to make these outside holes 12mm. These uh, are all marked up now and have been centre punched. So now comes the accurate job of mounting this up, ready for the milling machine to drill all the holes. Um, the last plate, if I can find that somewhere, here we are. Uh, these holes would have no doubt, no doubt been drilled originally to 12 millimeters, um, but I can't have done them that accurately uh, because. I'm able to get a 14mm bolt through here quite nicely. <laughs> so I obviously drill one of these, or more, uh, slightly out of position. And that really cocks things up when it comes to uh, positioning the whole thing. And really, that's what it was relying on. Uh, I didn't have enough time to mill a spigot into this. So, uh, yeah the next one should be better. Now, it's occurred to me that my original plan was, was to recess all this area down about 4mm because I've measured the spigot on the new motor to be, 40, uh, to be 180mm. But that's not really that necessary. Uh, all I need to do is have a small mill uh, go around in one circle just at that point and if I do that the spigot will fit in there and I don't have the time consuming job of having to mill all this away so I'm glad I found that out before, <laughs> before I started because that would have been a silly thing to do um, but yes we've got uh, still the holes at 265 that's for the bolts on the motor mounting then we've got the ones at 215mm, which is the ones for the motor itself. Then we've got the spigot, which we've got to just cut a line out of. And then we've got four holes here, which will allow this to be uh, bolted to my rotary table. And these are only five, in, uh, yeah, five inches apart. And they've got to be drilled quite accurately, because the bolts that go through those um, will eventually go into some T-nuts in the rotary table uh, and of course I'll have to make those T-notes because uh, despite having just one job to do you usually find when you get into all this DIY hobby stroke metalwork uh, paraphernalia kind of idea that you need to uh, do two or three more jobs to be able to achieve the main one so I've got to, I've got to go and make some T-notes uh, for the rotary table so I can hold this thing down but of course you know they'll be useful for other jobs so that's not too much of a problem um, so I better get on and start doing this okay so we've got the uh, plate finally mounted to the rotary table uh, I managed to get the plate centered there's a little bit of play there and that's not with the T-nuts or anything because they're very tight now. It's actually a little bit of play in the rotary table. Uh, but it's only rotational play. It's not uh, radial play or anything like that which will be 
pretty awful if it was. So we've still got those uh, marks coming from the centre outwards and uh, the centre is showing absolutely dead centre uh, with that now. So I'm pretty happy with that. But of course the test will be uh, rather than touching that is to uh, move the table uh, out by about 93 millimeters something like that so I think I'll end up putting a six mil um, a six mil mill <laughs> six mil end mill in uh, the collet so I have to change all this paraphernalia as well and it should trace perfectly on that line I mean I could do it by actually just keeping that in there and hovering it above this line here and winding it all the way around and seeing how concentric it is uh, I may actually do that just for vulgar interest um, couldn't find any nylock bolts so I've had to plumb for lock nuts and I only found seven uh, so I'm missing one on there unfortunately but I think we'll be okay but um, getting very close to milling this now and I'm getting quite excited <laughs> Okay, well, I've loosened the X table. Um, so now, I think what we'll do is move the uh, X table in and then uh, lock it in position when that point is just over the line. And then I'll go all the way around the diameter to see how close it is. Um, I'm hopefully central. Otherwise I'll have to set things up all over again, which is not a great deal of fun. But I think for this, I'll not bother with the DRO just yet. Uh, so I think I'll do it by sight. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wind it in now because the table's loose. The point, even though it looks like it's touching the centre, it isn't. It's slightly above. So I'm just going to wind that out now. Getting quite close Have to come round and that looks like it's just hovering above tweak okay that's pretty good now what we can do is just wind the table around now actually not that you can see it's out of shot but the previous job which the rotary table had uh, was to uh, put some holes in a certain or a certain number of holes in a circle and um, so I've still got the sectors set up on it and it's going to be a bit of a pain in the neck I think I'm going to have to perhaps change that for the normal one but anyway oh well we've had a bit of a problem here uh, <laughs> um, that's going to cause problems I think I'll just move the cam to show you have to go downwards maybe slightly across this I didn't actually predict but the sector arm fouls the disc uh, that's going to be quite a problem I think what I have to do is adjust this and move it further in I think that's about the only problem there's only about uh, an eighth of an inch between the disc and the uh, plate that's obviously done by design but uh, I'm not quite sure this must be metric sometimes you get a mixture of imperial or metric uh, socket caps uh, we'll pick up the metric ones and I'm guessing it's probably five is it five? It is, so we'll, we'll use that one. So, yep, not too essential where this is. Uh, just undo that if we can. And then move that in a little bit. Try and move it out if we can as far as possible. Oh, the dog's out again. 
Alright, so put the second ring in now. I'm hoping it won't fall. No, it's okay, it's fine. So I didn't actually realise that would happen until it happened. <laughs> but, uh, hmm. Right. Let's go back now to our point in question. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see if we can get quite central on that. Might actually be able to zoom in. It's a new camera, but it doesn't have different speeds at which you can zoom in at, which is unfortunate. And the focusing isn't fantastic. I have to come out from that. That's about as good as we're going to get. I dare move it. So, what we'll do now is just rotate the plate and it should follow that line all the way through. It seems to be absolutely bang on. I'm quite pleased. What this means is that when we put our milling cutter down, it's going to follow that curve, that line precisely. Yeah, it's, uh... See, even if it's a tiny amount out, which I mean, I've not seen anything yet, but even if it is a tiny amount out, it's not too much of a problem, because now we have the plate locked to the table. And so, both the table and the plate uh, will be in unison with each other and they will both have a dead centre at which they can be um, uh, treated at or regarded for. And therefore, we can drill the holes knowing that everything will be concentric. Uh, the holes will be where they should be. Um, the spigot line will be where it should be because really it's rotating perfectly and if we drill all the holes at this, uh, without taking the plate off the rotary table uh, this, wherever the centre is regarded, maybe it's maybe half a mil out uh, it doesn't actually matter because everything will be um, local to this spigot line. So even though I've got it absolutely bang on, um, it wouldn't matter if it was slightly out. So it looks pretty good to me. That's very good. And of course the marker which I made with the compass may be out a little bit, but I wouldn't have thought so. So I think what we'll do is we'll wind it round and we'll, uh, we'll keep it in one position for now and we'll have to lift this up ready for placing the uh, milling piece in right so time to change tools <laughs> 